Hey guys, Harper Hector here with more Pokemon news. I really didn't expect there to be so much Pokemon news like back to back. But um, I went on the Pokemon website today and I saw that they're running some Pikachu Cup online competition. It's for you know the Pokemon Global Link. It's only for people who have Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. You just put some Pokemon in the battle box and then save your game and connect it to the you know internet stuff, the game sync. And then that connects to the Pokemon Global Link. And then you can register four to six electric type Pokemon only to battle in this competition. Sign up period is August 13th through August 20th. So a really small time frame, only one week. Again, only electric type Pokemon, level 50 and up. Well, it says if your Pokemon is above level 50, it'll automatic automatically be scaled down to level 50. But it didn't say anything about Pokemon under level 50 being scaled up to level 50 because that's usually not the case when you're battling online under certain rules. So um, this is kind of a weird competition or the rules are kind of weird because I, I was rereading the rules over and over and I didn't quite get it. But yeah, I should also note it's only double battles. Most of these competitions are only double battles. It says players may use any Pokemon from the National Pokedex with the electric type excluding Zapdos, um, Raikou, Arceus, Thunderous, and Zekrom. Pokemon brought over from Pokemon Bank, or Pokemon Black, Pokemon White, po Pokemon Black 2, White 2 via po Poke Transporter may participate in this competition because sometimes they don't allow, allow it. Register 4 to 6 of your level 1 to 100 Pokemon to your battle box. And again, I said level 15 up gets reduce and stuff. Yes, yeah, so you can only use four of the Pokemon that you register, because you can register up to six. You can only use four of the Pokemon during each battle. It says 50 minute time limit for each match, um, 60 seconds to select your Pokemon from the battle box, 30 seconds for each move or to change your Pokemon in battle, and if you don't um, make a move then your selections end that period and the game, the game will automatically make selections for the player. Players may battle up to 15 games per day of the competition. Any unplayed games will carry over to the following day, and a new day begins at midnight UTC time. I'm not sure what UTC is. Well, compared to my Pacific time. I'm like minus 9 hours UTC, I believe. And, um, so... It says the gift. This is the weird part. The gift is depending depends on the Pikachu rank because it says you can use any electric Pokemon, but if enough people use Pikachu in your party and in the battles, not just to sit in your battle box because you only select four of the six Pokemon, you have to actually use it in your battles. It says if Pikachu is the first to third most used Pokemon. I guess everybody in the competition receives a spe special Pikachu as a participation gift, but if Pikachu is 4th through 12th, then everybody receives a Light Ball, which of course raises Pikachu's special attack and attack, it doubles it. I already have two Light Balls. And if Pikachu is 13th or any higher in the Pikachu ranking or whatever used in the whole battle competition then everybody receives 1,000 Pokemiles. That's what I believe it's saying. It's not too clear, but I'm pretty sure that's what it says. As it says, qualified participants will receive a gift determined by Pikachu's place in the final Pokemon rankings for the competition. Please note that Pikachu and each differently costumed cosplay Pikachu are tallied separately for ranking purposes. To receive the gift, Competitors must complete at least three battles and earn a place in the rankings. Also, you have to at least complete at least three battles to get a gift. But still, the whole Pikachu and each differently costume cosplay Pikachu are tallied separately. So, so does that mean if you use a cosplay Pikachu and it's not counted in the Pikachu rankings or something? So that's just a little bit confusing. But also. Another noteworthy thing, participation limit, only 50,000 people can sign up, so again, it's only within a week time frame, but you know, if you want to participate, sign up right now because you might not get a chance later. 
I want to sign up, but I'm training one more Pokemon to add into my battle box to make a complete six Pokemon team. And also, there are two divisions, the Junior Division, which is born from 2000 or later, and the Masters Division, which is born 1999 or earlier. So I'll be in the Masters Division since I was born in 1987, and I'm an old bastard. <laughs> and um, Junior Division players are limited to playing between 6 a.m. and 11 p.m. based on the easternmost time zone in each player's country. And then if they find out that you're actually older or younger than your division based on your Pokemon Trainer profile over on the Pokemon website, then you will be banned from this competi competition and maybe all future competitions. So just don't lie about your age and you should be fine. Oh yes, and I almost forgot, you know, I mentioned the time frame when you can sign up. The actual competition period is Friday, August 21st through Sunday, August 23rd. So yeah. That's when the competition will be, just those three days, and I guess that's it. Does anybody else want to participate, just like me? If I participate, I'm probably, will, I'll probably use my camera to shoot on my 3DS since my capture device still isn't working and I haven't had time to repair it. I don't have any money to repair it really at this time. So I might record it and put some up to see what happens. And you guys can see what my team consists of. I don't know. So that's it. Thumbs up if I just notified you of some cool, awesome news and you want to participate in all that good stuff. And subscribe to my channel if you want to hear, hear about more Pokemon news, see more Pokemon videos, and other gameplay videos, and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, see you guys later.